First at four, millions of dollars worth of drugs and multiple guns are now off the streets after a month long investigation led to a major drug sweep in Providence. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian and I'm Kayla Fish. Ten people are now facing charges. 12 News reporter Alex Torres Perez breaks down what we know and how the community is reacting. Alex. Kayla and Kim, for several weeks, Providence police were looking into a number of people across the city, and though those investigations weren't connected, it did result in the arrest of 10 people whom police are calling high level drug traffickers. And when I spoke to people in the community, they told me they were shocked after hearing what investigators found. This is just stunning that it's happening right here. Wanda Miglis never expected a major drug bust to happen around the corner where she's lived for the last 20 years. It's a very uh, quiet, uh, friendly neighborhood. Uh, people know each other. We look after each other. It was at this home off Winthrop Avenue that Providence police made their biggest bust in a months long investigation across the city. I don't think in, in, in my career and in, in probably in the last 20 years we have seized that much cash. In, 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 along with 11 kilos in one specific home. Across the city, officers with the Narcotics Bureau and Intelligence and Organized Crime Bureau found over a million dollars in cash and millions of dollars worth of drugs, including fentanyl, cocaine, and heroin. Investigators also seized nearly six pounds of marijuana, Rolex watches, four vehicles, and 13 firearms, including an assault weapon. Very similar to an AK-47, it can do a lot of damage. Providence Police Chief Oscar Perez says all suspects have a criminal history and their recent arrests should serve as a message. The drug trafficking in our city will not be tolerated and you'll be apprehended and held accountable. Providence Mayor Brett Smiley says he's working to make sure funding for the police department remains consistent to allow ongoing operations to keep streets safe. And while I, I'm not naive to think that this is going to stop um, uh, the illicit drug trade in Providence, it's a major arrest and every little bit helps. And just like the proliferation of illegal guns, every gun we take off the street makes the city a little bit safer. And so we continue to do the really hard police work to get that work done to keep our residents safer, while we also advocate for changes in policy that we think can stop the inflow of illegal drugs and illegal guns. Miglis says she's thankful for all the work being done to keep her neighborhood quiet. I'm just glad that we're a little safer today than we were yesterday. And most of the suspects who were arrested are still being held in jail without bond. And Providence Police says that more arrests could be incoming as this is an ongoing investigation. But for now, reporting live in Providence, Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.